guys. Well, uh, as all in all, good morning. And good morning. Uh, before we get started, let's make sure that we have our dumbbells or our weights or what we're using as weights nearby. We don't need them right now in the warm up. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a minute of our cardio again. So again, uh, going out for a little jog or side shuffling, that's going to be good because after that, you guys, we're going to move right into uh, jumping jacks and up downs. So if you want to stretch for a minute, if you want to side shuffle for a minute, I am going to go ahead and get this clock set so we can get ourselves moving this morning. All right. Thumbs up, everybody, if you're ready to do this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. One minute of our choice of cardio. Adair, I can imagine you walking through my front door where you would put your coffee and everything, so. Oh, there you go. Well, there is good fishing down here. Dan has confirmed that before. So yep. there is. Maybe, just maybe. So how long is down here. Right there. Say it again. How long is the drive? Um, nine hours. Nine yeah. hours door to door? Door to door. Five hundred and fifty five miles. We can do that. Yeah, I mean, so that's calculated. Nine hours is a really good time, by the way. That's really good. Well, right. 10 seconds, roll. everybody. All right. And three, two, one, and relax. Okay. So the second part, you guys, is we're going to do a little Tabata. Okay. So we're going to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds to rotate to the next movement. So we're going to go, excuse me, back and forth from jumping jacks into up downs. Okay. And we're only going to do four total sets. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Here we go. All right, everybody. Three, two, one, and rotate. Okay. So the next movement is going to be up downs. Not yet, not yet, Chris. Three, two, one, and begin. So here's Adam. I'm going to take a little poll really quick. Um, when everything is in full effect, how many of you guys would stay attending the 7 a.m. online class? I would. Molly would. Yeah. Dara would. Chris, awesome. And rotate. All right, here we go. Getting ready for jumping jacks in five, four, three, and begin. I like the idea of coming into people's living room and all you guys have to do is just kind of somewhat roll out of bed or, you know, you don't have to commute or anything. Three. Two, one, and rotate. In your perfect world, Dan, would you take seven or six thirty? Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Ten seconds, everybody. And three, two, one, and rotate. Okay, going right back into those jumping jacks in two, one, and begin. There we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. And then up, downs in three, two, one, begin. Here we go, guys.
reaching for the deck, stepping out, jumping out. Three, two, one, and rotate. Okay, guys, we're gonna do this one more time. One more set of jumping jacks, one more set of up downs. In two, one, begin. All right. So today is going to be a cool day, you guys. We have two 15-minute EMOMs. So they are, we are going to stay busy this morning. Three, two, one, and rotate. And then we're going to go into our up-downs in five, four, three, and begin. There we go. You got it. Man, we're just warming up, starting our day off, 15 seconds. And three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so go grab some water, you guys. Let's go ahead and discuss what we are going to do. And let's make sure that we're uh, all on the same page. Okay, so uh, while you're grabbing your water, guys, make sure you guys have your dumbbells. Yeah, Scott, I'm really glad you, uh, you're thinking about that because I don't know that I'd be able to work in, you know, the time up to the gym and back from the gym and the shower and all that other stuff, but this is sure. perfect. Totally. And we do have a shower, Chris, there. Uh -huh. So if you ever wanted to kind of sneak that into your routine, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely thinking ahead. Um, I found this as super more, you know, convenient for people. And when people can take a commute out of the way and all that stuff, it kind of, it's a game changer. So and get you right to work. Right. So, um, okay. So we are going to be doing a 15 minute AMRAP you guys. So for 15 minutes, we have three movements that we're going to be working on. So we're going to do dumbbell presses. Okay. So I have it set that we're going to do 20 dumbbell presses. Okay. If we need to adjust that number in any way, I'm thinking anything between 12 to 15 would be good because I want you to have enough time within that minute to still have some downtime. Okay. The next one is, is going to be a, a goblet upright row. And I'll show you what we're doing with that one. If you do have a kettlebell, you guys, that I think is going to be the most comfortable position or comfortable thing to hold to kind of get that high pull. And then we'll go ahead and do dumbbell up or dumbbell up down. So that's going to be where we're going to be doing an up down with our dumbbells. So, so with, let's just go over our push press really quick. So when we have it set, you guys, those dumbbells in the rack position, the things that I want you to focus on are two things, right? Is as we lower ourselves down one that that torso stays upright, straight up and down and that those feet stay flat when we go up. Right? It's really tempting to go heel up. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells, guys. Get five to ten of these. That's and it. I think five is going to be good. But enough oh. that you can practice the keeping the heels flat. And if there's a struggle, just really focus on squeezing them glutes and quads a little bit more intentionally. And that tends to help keep your heels flat. Okay. Now the next one, you guys, is going to be a dumbbell upright row. So if I have dumbbells, I'm just going to let it hang here, guys, at my fingertips. And from here, I'm just going to pull up or I can even over grip the dumbbell and pull up too. Okay, so let's get five of those. I do like the, the upright row when I'm grabbing the dumbbell. Um, but we might not ha all have dumbbells that we can literally kung fu grip and hold it, right? So oh, this is like uh, a sumo. This mm -hmm. is sumo 100%. Kind of yep. Molly totally killing it. <laughs> so the thing, Molly, I'd say is just remember, just remember, keep make sure that those elbows are always higher than your load. So whatever you're carrying, yeah. And just kind of pull elbows high. Elbows will always be higher than your wrist, you guys. And that's going to kind of support that shoulder a little bit more. 
All right. So then when we come into the <coughs> downs with the weights, go ahead and let's start this, you guys. So start off with the dumbbells in your hand and then go ahead and do your up down. Step out or jump out. Come back on those heels and then stand up like a deadlift. Okay. So go ahead. Let's get two of those. So we're going to go through five total rounds, you guys. So if you guys, you know, once you guys get done with that movement within that minute, you're just going to hang out and rest. Okay. So this is going to be our strength portion. Is there a move that you're going to move this distance in? I don't know. Well, next door, this is the kind of cool thing is she's here early in the morning, you dare. Uh -huh. So I'm now asking, hey, <coughs> can I buy coffee from you in the morning? So <coughs> little by little, just trying to understand how this whole situation works. Little by little. Depends little by business you drive her way, you know? Yeah. <coughs> all right. Okay, you guys, any questions at all how we're doing this or just any questions about any of the movements? Push, press, sumo up down okay yeah and it's not yeah don't yeah just just and it's just the upright row right there so if you need to kind of lean back your torso just a little bit to kind of get that opening of the chest and get some momentum that's all right all right you guys well let's go ahead and get ourselves set once you guys have those dumbbells in hand i'll know everybody's ready because we're going to start with dumbbell push presses and again, if we have to adjust the rep scheme at all, let me know. Or actually, don't let me know. You don't have to let me know. But adjust 12 to 15 reps. All right, everybody. Here we go. Three, <coughs> two, one. And here we go. Perfect. Yep. We're at 20 seconds, everybody. So just kind of like a little bit of a check in. Nice job of keeping those feet flat, Chris. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Five, four, three. And here we go. Right into the upright row. So don't go to the deck there. You don't have to go to the deck. It's just a high pull. Okay. Yeah. Remember, elbows higher than your wrist. You can always think about getting them to your ears, elbows to your ears, if not past your ears. How many? Um, 15. So again, that way we would adjust that 10 to 15, kind of how you guys feel is right. We're at 30 seconds just for a check-in. And if you feel okay with that, Eva, maybe grab the ends of the dumbbell so you can pull those elbows high if it's comfortable. I don't know if that's comfortable or not. Use one of yours. All right, guys, 10 seconds. All right, 10 up-downs with dumbbells in three, two, <coughs> One and begin. Use your legs and your hips. This is a little hard. All right, guys, we got 20 seconds left. All right, everybody, here we go. Moving into your dumbbell push presses again and begin.
30 seconds, everybody. Yeah. All right, everybody, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and then go right into those goblet upright rows. This high hole. Yep, just kind of really brace that midsection, guys, and just pull high. I can't do too many rounds of this. So when it comes to those upright rows, you guys, you know, it is 15, but adjust accordingly. Eight, 12, 10, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something that you feel like you have a good pull with. Once we start to lose our pull, then we've kind of started to hit a failure and we start to recruit other <coughs> movements and we start to make up our own movement. So just for safety and strength purposes. All right, you guys, here we go. Up, downs, three, two, and begin. Here we go. Molly, I was thinking uh, if you wanted to stop by after today's class immediately, that would work. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. Good try. All right. 15 seconds, everybody. <coughs> 10 seconds. All right, everybody. Here we go in three, two, one. Right back into those push presses. All right, we're asking for 20, but we need to adjust it 12 to 15, kind of do a little check-in with your body. Remember, using those legs to make this movement happen, you guys. Take your head through. There we go. 20 seconds, you guys. Once you guys get done, hang out a little bit, rest a little bit. Make sure you guys are moving around still. All right, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, and here we go. I'll shake her. Nice, you guys. Pulling those elbows high to the sky. There we go. Fifteen seconds, you guys, to that next minute. All right, new minute starting in three, two, one, and begin.
All right, you guys. 15 seconds. The lady next door just stopped by and asked me, would I like cream with my coffee? What? What the heck? That's awesome. Oh, Scott, has been replaced. No, 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 no. Three, two, one, <coughs> and begin. Thank you. I appreciate that. No Check it out, you guys. <laughs> Never a dare, never. A dare would always bring me coffee when I'd come into town and she'd have her Stoneway CrossFit sticker on the mug also. Here we go. 20 seconds, everybody. <clears throat> Ten seconds. <clears throat> All right, here we go. New movement. Three, <clears throat> two, one, and begin. There we go. Elbows high to the sky. Nice job, you guys. Think elbows higher than your elbows. Elbows higher than your wrists, my bad. <laughs> but just remember it, we don't want the wrist and the elbows parallel. We want the elbows higher than the wrists. So when you pull, think, pull those elbows to the ceiling. Here we go. And it's almost like we're doing like a double zipper also. Double zipper hoodie. I've never seen a double zipper hoodie, but maybe I should invent one. Ooh, invention. Don't take my idea, guys. All right, five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dumbbell up downs begin. Here we go, everybody. Chris, I see you're getting serious now. I couldn't find my fishing gloves. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Once you guys get done, move around, walk around. All right, we are on to our last round. We're going to start it in 10 seconds, everybody. All right, here we go in three, two, one, and begin. There we go. There we go, 30 seconds. Nice job, nice job everybody. All right, 10 seconds until the next set, or next movement. Here we go in three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Elbows high, elbows high. <clears throat> All 
All right, once you guys get done with that, again, shake it out, walk around. We have one more movement. It's gonna be up, down with dumbbells. All right, you guys, we have 10 seconds. All right, in five, four, three, and here we go, everybody. There we go. Going for 10, you guys. Abs are tight. Nice job, Adair, land on those front heels. Nice job. There we go. There we go. Go grab that water, you guys. Catch your breath. Nice job, you guys. <clears throat> All right. So as you guys are uh, kind of catching your breath, you know what not, let's go ahead and start talking about the second piece of today's workout. So. Uh, we're going to be doing a 15 minute AMRAP. So we're going to be working and go through as many rounds as possible and get as many reps uh, accomplished as possible in our 15 minutes. So we're going to have jump roping or we're going to jump and mimic the jump roping, depending on kind of what our, our environment is, if we can do the jump rope. So we're going to be doing 50 jump ropes. Okay. Um, double unders, single unders, air unders. That's with no jump rope, by the way. Um, your call. And the next one is going to be, we're going to do 50, uh, sorry, 12 dumbbell seesaw rows. We'll go over that together. And then 12 dumbbell floor presses. And then we're actually going to go into a floor press hold for one full minute in the glute bridge. Okay. So let's go over the seesaw row so we've done the bent over row before so that's going to be the same you're going to hinge at your hips dumbbells are going to be like so and so normally as we row we pull elbows back and then come back but from here we're going to pull individually all right so that back stays flat i'm not rotating in any direction i'm here flat and all i'm doing is just pulling my elbows back as I somewhat like pinch my shoulder blades, but you can see individually we're doing those rows. So let's go ahead and do that, you guys. Let's get three on each side. It is a one rep, both sides? Uh, one rep each side, yes, yeah. So like it's a 12, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, yeah, six per no, side. No, it's gonna be one, one, two, two? Yeah. No, 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 so it'll be uh, 12 total, right? So each side counts as one. Yeah, keep that back flat, though. So the big thing here, you guys, pretend like there's a bottle or a glass of wine or something that you don't want to be tipped over, okay? So that means your back has to stay that stable and unrocking, right? So each pull, you want to be nice and smooth, right? Because you don't want to tip that glass of wine or whatever you want to have on your back that you don't want to tip over. So think of it as like it's a, it's a clean movement, Okay. And then Molly in the future, having like a band would be super good. Like uh, hook it underneath your bed post and then you can pull. So. I dig that. All right. Um, so next thing, everybody, let's go ahead and get into a floor press. So go ahead, lay on your backs, you guys. And we're going to be doing that bench press. Right on the back. So in that position, Go ahead and go ahead and perform the bench press or the floor press. And just remember keeping those elbows in between, right? We don't want them tight to your body or elbows out. We want them in between. So it's a strong push. Go ahead and get five of those. And then once you're done with that, I want you guys to go ahead and hold the dumbbells over your chest, lift your hips up into that glute bridge. So your feet are flat, glutes are tight, the hamstrings are being helpful. 
and you're just gonna hang out there for your own 10 seconds. Okay, so you want you guys done with your press, lift your hips up, and then count, give yourself a 10 second hold. I'm probably gonna talk about this a lot, you guys, but being on Main Street is a trip for me right now. There are so many people. Yeah. <laughs> Can you All right. Sign up, Scott, for those classes because they looked pretty big yesterday. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, again, we're working for 15 minutes, 50 jumps, okay? 12 of those dumbbell seesaw rows, 12 of the floor presses. And then once you're up, we're gonna, I'm sorry, once you're done with that 12th floor press, you're then going to do a, excuse me, a floor press hold with a glute bridge, okay? If um, we're gonna replace the floor presses with push-ups because we don't have dumbbells, heavy enough to give us a floor, then we're gonna do a one minute high plank hold, okay? So that would be how we're gonna treat the, uh, the floor press hold if we don't have dumbbells. Does that work? Okay. All right, any questions, you guys? Okie doke, let's get moving, everybody. Let me get my clock lined up with us. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and begin. 50 jump ropes, you guys. Dan, yeah, your office is downtown Pioneer Square, right? Oh, midtown. 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 So now I understand the city life, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once we're done with those dumb are the double unders, single unders, going in those seesaw rolls. Remember, flat back, chest up. Yeah. I should be able to see a little bit of your of your collarbone, you guys. So if I'm looking right at you, I can't see your collarbone. I should be able to see a little bit of your collarbone. And that just simply means that chest a little bit more lifted up. No, 10. 10 seconds. 10 second hold. One, nope, one full minute. One minute hold. Yeah, yeah. When we were warming up, we just did 10 second hold okay. just to kind of demo everything. Yeah, we're going right back into it, you guys. We're working for 15 minutes. So just remember, guys, with that glute bridge hold, I'm sorry, with the dumbbell floor press hold, we are lifting our hips off the deck. So we're squeezing them glutes, pushing those heels into the floor. There we go.
you doing? Is that 12? 20. I thought it was 20. It's 12 of these. There we go. 50 single skips, you guys, or double unders, or just jumps. 12 dumbbell seesaw rows, 12 floor presses, and then a one minute hold once we've hit that 12th floor press, resting those hips up into that glute bridge, and we're going to hold it for a minute. So hips all the way up. Good. It's like you're pushing the dumbbells through your ceiling and you're lifting those hips up. There we go. Nice job, you guys. Good. So with that glute bridge, as you guys lift those hips up, feel a little bit more pressure or pivoting off of your shoulders. It's almost like you're loading that upper body. All right, you guys, go right into that next round once you guys complete your glute bridge hold. There we go. Nice job, you guys. Fifty single jumps, you guys. Good. Remember, abs are tight, chest are lift up just a little bit, so then you can pull each side. Just kind of focus on one side when you pull. There we go. So Chris, try to push those elbows out just a little bit, just like an inch to the right, inch to the left with those elbows so they're not tucked into your body. They kind of flare out just a little bit more. See if it kind of feels more stronger. Or you feel more powerful as you push. I feel more like this, yeah. Yeah, is that a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. There we go. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel that more. <laughs> awesome. So one thing you guys want to think about with those dumbbell holds, imagine that my, both my hands are pushing on your knuckles and I, you don't want me to press those dumbbells or press those arms back down to the floor. So you're pushing into the ceilings. And then you see, you get to feel that nice little flex in your pecs also. So a little like indicators, you know, that we're doing it right, that we're doing it as efficient as needed. Here we go. Here we go. Good job, Nick. I had a conversation with a gentleman two days ago, and he was talking about, you know, I was talking about squeezing his glutes, and I was talking, he's like, so how tight should I squeeze it? I'm like, um, this is going to come from Malachi, but he's like, you're sque it's like you're squeezing a dollar bill. So <laughs> that was my cue for that day. Oh, God. There we 
go. What? Yep. <laughs> what round room? Just four or five. Does anybody remember what round we're on? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I will tell you, we are short of minute 10, you guys. So it's either four or five, I'm guessing. I want to say you're finishing four there. Agreed. All right, you guys, we are at minute 10. Uh, would you believe I've been doing this wrong like for 20 years? The press? The press? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a new I day, Chris. Feel the difference. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, it's a game changer when it's just a slight little adjustment. It's the kind of it's the same exact thing if we were to do a push up or you know a push up hold or upright plank. Is the tighter the elbows are to your body, that's more going to be focusing on your triceps. I mean, you're still hitting your pecs and your and your shoulders, but those triceps are just going to get a lot more work. And then once you flare those elbows out, all it is, is open up that, for those pecs a little bit more. There we go. I lost count. Are we at a minute at a uh, minute eleven? Yep, we're at eleven thirty right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. And let me, I'm gonna get my whiteboard really quick, you guys, because you can what right when you guys start, I'll keep a track for you. All right, you guys, once you guys start that floor press, just tell me starting. There you go. Keep those abs tight. And then we're flat back. Don't want to knock over whatever's going to be resting on your back. All right, you guys, we are at our last two right. minutes, you guys. Good job, Nick. Same thing. Same thing? Yeah, like two minutes oh. left of the 15 minutes. Dan just popped the same thing. His calf? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm feeling good. Huh. Same thing, Dan? Yep. I thought it was oh, healed. Man. Oh, man. 
One fifteen left, you guys. All right, you guys, last minute. All right, 20 seconds, everybody. Ten seconds. All right, everybody. Five, four, three, and rest. All right, you guys. Go ahead, write down, or go ahead and put in the comment section how many rounds and reps you guys got. Too many. I'm calling it six. Yeah, I'm calling it six. Six minus about 15 seconds. Cool. Dan, yeah. how's that feeling right now? Well, it's okay right now. I'm not on it. Okay. <laughs> nice job. Well, the moment I it, it stopped, so I'm hopeful that will help. Well, Say that one more time. Let's see what it's like. Oh, no, it's there. It's definitely there. Okay. I should ace and ice immediately. Yeah. I think I got it right. I have no idea. So, six ish. So, six ish, yeah. I think I'm on track with whatever everybody else was doing based on the sounds of skipping. You're like, whatever Molly did, just put my, num my, put my numbers down for Molly's number also. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys so let's kind of go over this really quick you guys um if you guys have a foam roller a lacrosse ball um if you guys can start to put that your body on one of those devices at least three to four minutes a day um there's sometimes in our body guys that we like eh, i feel pretty good i don't really feel tight or at all but just putting your body on a foam roller or a lacrosse ball and just kind of move it around a little bit sometimes helps you identify things that are there that you don't realize right now. Um, but it's just like self-care stuff too. So maybe something that we could create in our morning routine after we're done working out. But just wanted to give you another idea out there. So... All right, you guys, let's go ahead. Let's do our photo really quick, and then you guys can go ahead and kick off your mornings, continuing your mornings. All right. Mobility. All right. What's that? My mobility. Oh, I like it. I like it. There we go. And you know what, guys? It's the first online class that I'm in the new gym, so... All right. Like it. All right. Is Danny gonna post? Is he rolling? He's rolling. All right. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, you guys. Good job today. Good seeing you. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And uh, Danny, I'm gonna reach out to you after we're done. Thank you. And Scott, if you're still available. I'll run down to the gym right now. Yep, I'm here. I'm here till like at least 11 or whatever, so. I'll be super fast. Perfect. You, See you guys. Have a good morning. Bye.